I find your lack of belief troubling. Hi guys, and welcome to the Doomfist analysis video, where you send me your gameplay and I coach you on everything you did good, bad, and tell you what you could benefit from and how you can improve. If you would like to be featured in these videos, then all you have to do is post your video to YouTube, then send me an email with the link to the video at LamborghiniMercy at gmail.com. Don't forget to title your email Doomfist Analysis along with your rank and username, and that is all you have to do. All I ask is that you do not send hate messages to the people sending in their videos for the review. This is to help improve people and motivate them to become better Doomfist mains in the future. Now, enough being said, let's get started. All right, guys, it has been a long, long time since the last time I've done a VOD review, and we all know why I haven't done it in a long time, because my OBS and whatever, it's not working, and I needed to get me an Elgato, which is what I now have, by the way, and that's basically why, man. Now that we are able to actually get back into this, I want to start with the first entry that I haven't gotten in a long time. His name is Nate Quinton. I hope I said that right. If I butchered na your name, I'm so sorry. Whenever you send me the VOD reviews, if you remember when you're sending these, to send me your rank, send me um, the SR, and send me, um, shoot. Okay, I think that was it. I think that's it. I don't think you need to send me anything else. Just make sure you post it to YouTube as well, so I'll actually be able to download it and actually send me the link to it in my email. I'll, send, I'll leave the email in the description, as always, and you can get from there. Well, without anything else, let's see, see what we got here, man. By the way, I turned the by the way, I turned the audio off because I'm not going to be focusing on what they're saying in the game nor what's going on. I don't need to hear any of the sounds, anything like that. Only thing I honestly want to hear it and see. Only thing I want to do is see what's going on. I don't need to hear anything that's going on. I don't need to hear what you're saying or anything like that. So most of the most of the time, or maybe in the future, I'll just keep the audio off. It's maybe just because I'm being lazy because there's I don't know how there's I don't know how to um, have both playing at the same time without having terrible audio. But eh. We're gonna count it off at just this just being a new thing I do or whatever. All right, let's get in there. Hmm. Are you going straight forward? They're running a pharmacy, so all yeah, right, nice taking the high ground, man. You should always go up here to the high ground whenever you to always take the high ground right here whenever you're going on this map, especially at Doomfist. Kind of risky to go in there, but that's okay. Nice, you got a two piece. Safe to. Re Safe to get back to your team, man. Um, one problem I have with quick words. Wait, you just got bullshit charged, like always, man. Whenever I and mean, whenever um, there's always a Reinhardt, you will always be charged. So watch out for this man. I I, I suffer, suffer from this curse as well. But one thing I want to go to real quick. Whenever I saw you going in right here, we're going right here. I first personally, I would not have went in right here because there was a Brigitte right here to the right, and then also and also their entire team is there. You got lucky right here actually because the Brigitte didn't turn around. But that, uh, you still got two picks off, so that'll be good, man. And then you got charged. <laughs> and then Reinhardt got... Wait, how did he... Oh, he jumped off. Okay. Nice, you got the point. You didn't work on that turn punch, man, but that's okay, man. I, right here, I would have actually gone back to the high ground. You always want to go back to the high ground on this part of the map. See, if you're already on the high ground, we wouldn't have to waste any waste to get up there. And watch out for Hanzo. You, you should always be... Yeah, like that, man. I don't, have, I don't even have to tell you, man. You got it down. Alright, be patient. Patient. Sorry, it's right there. Uh, I would have actually charged again. <laughs> when the fight over, I'll tell you. I, I just... um. Table to children right there. Actually, hold on. Pause right back. I'm going right back. Right here. I mean, right here. What you should, should have done. The second Azaria would have started moving up. I'll show you right here. Second Azaria moved up right there. I would have slammed right in and poured her back into the into the team. That would have helped y'all. You could have killed the Azaria immediately. I still want to fight, but um, it would have been a lot easier if you I mean, if she was um into our team. Fair is going ham, of course. Actually, you were kind of... Oh, you still got him. Still got him. It's alright. I don't have to say anything about that one. Actually, I think I can improve the quality right here. Alright, taking the high ground again, man. 
All right. The um, problem I have, uh, problem I have with what you're doing right now, especially what you're, what you're about to do. I can see what you're about to do right now, which is the, which is like a big problem right now. What you should have done, uh, if you're going to go up here, what you should have done, you should have gone up here at the beginning when the fight was already over and stayed and stayed up there. Um, when you went up there now, you you were going in without without one of your key abilities. You need this to go in right now. I know you're about to have your ult, but I would always go in with that ability in order if you're going to actually go in for it. Still got the McCree, that's okay though. Right after that, right after that, oh, I would have ulted right away. And I would have went out to Zarya. Okay, nice. It was, too late. It, it was kind of too late to go out to Zarya right now since she had her bubble back, but it's okay. Ah, uh, how unfortunate everyone died. But, man, you can group up now. <laughs> run, Mora, run! <laughs> Alright, remember, uh, okay, never mind. But remember, always when you're coming out of the, when, whenever you're coming out of spawn, you always want to rocket punch out of it. Just get back to the point faster. That's alright, that's alright. Go up for the flank, I see. Nah, it's not, uh. That could have been bad. Charged again, man. <laughs> What's up with Reinhardt and charged with Doomfist, man? All right, see, so you're all deciding to go to the left side. It'd be good to go to the left side, but if you're all going to, I, or never mind, you're just going to flank. It'd be good right here. If you're going to all go this way, make sure that you're the one that's flanking. Like, let me pause real quick. Okay, what would be a good idea? Even if they have a brigida right here, what would be great is um, whenever your team is going one way, most of the time you want to flank behind the enemy and go the opposite way just to get a hit up on the enemy so they don't know that you're coming. Or you want to take the high ground above them and then go in when they're least expecting it. So what you're doing right now is pretty great, man. I, I would have not have done that, though. I would I, Yeah, I would have not done that, though. I don't punch into... I never punch into the enemy like that. Unless you're, like, you're going to hit somebody. You're going in to hit somebody. Never punch, like, dead into it. Especially whenever Brigida... If they had a Zenyatta, it would have been great to do that and just uppercut him right afterwards. But since they had a Brigida, it would be not and not um very wise to do that especially since there is no wall where you're punching in as well all right you be waiting for the your abilities to come back actually you'd be waiting oh shoot you have to group up right now you should be grouping up right now just so uh your team can get and can get reorganized re i can't speak reorganized before you go back in you might take the point right here actually Ah, Brigida. You, you should go after McCree. Oh, huge. Nice, nice. Huge. Never you're gonna ult. I, I advise almost always ult McCree. If your team's there. If he doesn't have roll. Most of the time he has roll, so it wouldn't be advised to always go after that. Another thing, right? Uh, another thing. Uh, I'll say another thing. Like, I'll show you real quick. I'll show you the, the advantage of having high sensitivity, which is why I have high sensitivity. Right here, when you slam, you're not able to turn all the way around because your sensitivity is way too low. If you increase your sensitivity, then you have more proficiency when you're trying to um, turn around. So I advise like the the more, like for instance, create a Smurf or something like that. Since I don't, I know people don't like playing quick play, but create a Smurf and slowly on the Smurf when you're climbing, slowly increase your sensitivity, like. Um, bit by bit increase your sensitivity until you're able to play at 100 100 and then when you get to 100 100 switch to aim smoothing like I wouldn't Advise go anything past 90 aim smoothing if you can do it then you can do it But I personally can't do it because I can't aim for crap. You've already we've already know that But I, I personally ask you to get uh, increase your aim smoothing to help you better with those turns and with your slams and everything else And y'all should take the point actually unless y'all don't see nine Right here, I would leave the Ryan. Never mind, you get him. You could have stayed like a Ryan, but that's okay. What the hell? Oh, you got flat. Oh, that was risky. Very risky. I still got it. Y'all still got it. Nice, man. And Reinhardt messed up this messed up his um 
messed up his um shatter. That's okay. Yeah, I got it. Nice, man. I like what I'm seeing so far. I, I see. I like that, um, what I'm saying. You have the basics of everything down and everything. You have um basic knowledge of what you're doing with the character. Only probably need, only thing you need to work in is how you're supposed to be going in. That's and that's like the one thing you need to work on. Like how you're and how you're going in, how you're supposed to execute your strategies, and how you're supposed to execute your combos. That's what that's the one thing I say you have to do right now. But you don't have the gold fist, man. You gotta have the gold fist, man. I should make it like a rule, like you can't send me a video unless you have the gold fist. That, that's gonna be a new rule, man. All right, going in. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll accept that for now. I'll accept that the way you got it for now. Right there, nice, nice. Usually people go on the high ground here, but you can knock people off right here, so that'll be right better. That you should not have done though. You, but you're getting away with because you have you have, your heels are insane right now. All right, let me, let me pause real quick. Let me go, go get an instant replay of that. Yes. The second you punch, right? Oh shoot! Ah, a sec. The second you punch right there, you should not have jumped in right immediately with slam. Because what I what I would have done the second you hit that punch, I would have backed up because I didn't hit anyone against the wall. Or the quality is bad. Jesus Christ! It's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But um, what I would have I would have punched, backed up, and pointed down so they couldn't get any headshots or anything like that. Because you only lived right here because you have sufficient healing on your team. Like you were. You were 56 health, like look at that. You were 56 health and they were healing you like really man. Your team was pushing up with you. That that's the only reason that worked. Uh, in, in any other situation, you would have died, or if you were uh, if it was anything higher, you would have died as well. So remember, when you're punching in, if it, they're not hitting something, or if their entire team there, make sure to back up immediately afterwards. Oh shoot. Alright, no, it's going for it. Personally, I would have um right here, I would have punched the Reinhardt instead of um um, combo him, but that's okay. That's okay too. And he didn't. Oh no, no! You should be out there. You should be out there. Whenever you miss a slam, you should immediately like not try to pursue, tr not try to continue to pursue. Ah, uh, that was unfortunate. I saw what happened there. All right, got the flank on him. Ah, uh, unfortunate again. Like all these unfortunate. If you would have got hit by that, um. I wouldn't went for that hunt though. It's alright, it's alright. X dig regroup. Alright, going for a flank again. It's alright. Most of the time, um, I would not flank right here for many reasons. They have a Reaper for one. And they they do they have a Brigida? I didn't see any Brigida. Yeah, they still had a Brigida. I would not flank right there actually. And plus their team wasn't there, so it, it would have been a wise not to be in a fight right now. <laughs> Bubble man. Ah, oh, they got the 99. I'm not giving up on you yet, man. Oh, I think they might have this one. Yeah, they got that one. That's unfortunate. Don't give up, man. Don't give up, man. It's not over yet, man. Oh, we hit them with the switch. We're going Tracing now, man. I saw Tracing in the title of the video, but I didn't think it... I, I didn't know it was going to play it or not. Just note that um, if you are going to switch characters on the bar views, I will I will still review it. Just know that I am not as knowledgeable as knowledgeable with the character that you might be choosing. Just I just know that just um, for future references. I just I can just give you my my view from a grandmaster's point of view, but I can't tell you how to play your character or how to play that character in specifically. Interesting interesting crosshair by the way. Oh, huge. Ah, oh, she got away. I would have continued going after the more if you could find her. She killed herself. <laughs> I've heard we're going after the Reinhardt since Brigida is not really an option though. Right? Oh shoot, sniped. I got that pulse bomb, man. Nice, huge. Got a McCree. 
Nice. Nice, nice. Back up, back up. I'll back up right now. Oh, you still got it, though. It's all right. You barely lived, man. Huge, man. What I do right here with Tracy, I and mean, once they, I and mean, once they've already, um, once they've already, what's wrong with my mouse? I'm a mouse. Oh, never mind. You're already doing what I thought you were gonna do. All right, going for the clean one clip, right there. Nice, man. I wouldn't be that. I wouldn't be too close to Reaper, man. Fight from a distance. You can, you can, you can beat Reaper from fighting from a distance with um, Tracer. He has to get close to you in order to kill you, man. Just remember that. Uh, unfortunate Pokemon. That's right. That's right. One, I mean, one advice I could give you for Tracer. Sometimes I see you. Um, sometimes I see you shooting, and like for instance, they'll go behind the wall, and you'll be still shooting. What I advise is the second that they're not in your range of shooting, blink behind them and continue your one clip. Don't reload. Don't reload. Because if you reload, if you reload, you just gave her seconds to start re I mean, recovering. Like when they when they go behind the wall, um, stop shooting, blink behind them and continue continue shooting, and then back up and reload. Don't think you always have to reload when you're when you're going in. It's not always about reloading. Oh, they got the point. Now, unfortunate. Run! Run! Nope, fight Reaper from a distance. Fight Reaper. Ugh. Fight Reaper. Ah, oh, I can't speak! Fight Reaper from a distance. Way too close to it, but that's okay. No, 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 no. One cut to Zarya. I end up more, more, more. I'm talking to you like that you're in the actual game. Ah, <laughs> uh, unfortunate. I don't think I, I advise to aim a little higher when you're um I know I know the body shots uh, as great and people have, don't have sufficient aim but aim a little bit higher when you're going to the tanks just saying ooh unlucky oh Brigida unlucky. <laughs> I think your team. I think your team can clean up for you right here. Actually, I don't even think I have to say anything now. Pretty sure you guys got it, man. Yeah, your Reaper's carrying you, man. Your Reaper's carrying, bro. All right, I want to see you kill this fair, man. Better kill her. Better kill. Her. No one else take. Yeah, my man. Better kill Jumper, man. No one else but you can kill her. Ah. Uh... All right, GG, man. GG, man. All right, GG. Wait, I want to see play the game actually before I actually go into the actual um, um, doing do not stuff. Uh, it's just Reinhardt. It's all right. I want to see that. So the one thing I would say that you would have to work on and take I mean, it's hard. Don't take this as me like criticizing, but this is just me analyzing gameplay. The one thing that you really should be working on is um, how you engage with your abilities. There are a lot of times where I see that you engage, like for instance, with your rocket punch, and then immediately after you continue to try to go in. And some only reason some of the time it works for you is because their DPS is not sufficient in trying to kill you, and it only works for you as well because their healers are keeping you alive at that time. But other times you'd go in, like for instance, the entire second, the entire second point, you go in and um, you wouldn't be in the right position, and like some of the some of the um, surroundings would mess you up or you would go in and your rest, your rest of the team wasn't there so even if you did get a pick it wouldn't have mattered because your team wasn't there to follow up afterwards and then you just end up dying afterwards so I'd be more mindful of going in um, knowing when to go in start going in more when your team is actually there and start going in when um, when you actually have a chance to go in, you know what I mean? For I mean, like for instance, if your team is there and like your Reinhardt and your everybody's set up and you just go in from behind them and get a quick pick off and then go back to your team instead of continuing going into the fight. Because if you continue going into the fight after you get a pick, they it's easier for them to kill you because now you have no abilities. You know what I mean? So go into the fight and then the second you get your pick, get out of the fight. Go back to your team. Cause if you don't go back to your team, you're just gonna end up dying and 
you can't help your team if you're if you're dead. And if they if you have a mercy on your team, they, she shouldn't have to waste your resources on you every time that you go in to get a pick and then die and then just repeat the process over and over. So try to get in, get out, and continue with the fight once you have all your abilities back. And use your use your manager ammunition as well when you're going in. Another thing um, that you should probably do with um, I say for Tracer at least. So like for Tracer, for me, I saw you do. I, I saw you do exceptionally well with Tracer. Only problem that you have with Tracer, I believe, is your target focus. Like um, maybe I don't. I don't know if someone was screaming at you, "Get this person! Get this person! Get this person! Get that person!" But the people you're going after, I would. I would personally not have gone after because they. It was not very advantage. I mean, advantage wise, and since they and since they were playing Brigida as well, it was actually hard for you to play Tracer since. And, but Brigitte wasn't actually focusing you down, so you didn't have to worry about that. But um, you went after, like for instance, there was a Zarya. Uh, let me see if I can find that. Find that. Like for instance, there was a Zarya. I mean, not right here, right? Not right here. It was a little bit far back. Y'all are in right, like right here, not Zarya. But there was like a Brigida and a uh, Mora right here. And the Mora should have been your main target instead of Brigida right here, since the shield. And uh, she punished you for that, and you had to run away for it. Like, but the Mora was one over here. If you went after the Mora, you would have gotten a quick pickoff instead of going after like the Brigida. If, if you can get if you can get a Brigida, then that'd be good. But I would go after the easier target, which would be the Mora, and she can't really out damage you, um, to be honest. And she can't really out heal your um, your um, your guns if you're hitting other shots. And plus, she was one, so you could have easily killed her. And whenever you're facing a Reaper. Always fight the Reaper from a distance because the Reaper can't kill you if you're and can't really do much damage to you if you're far if you're further away from him. I know you both have like some type of fall off. I don't know what the fall off is, but if you're fighting him from like slightly a distance instead of like right in front of his face, you're you're going to always have an advantage unless like he gets some lucky shot on you and just one shot you, which he can't really do if you're not that close to him. So fight I mean, fight Reaper from slightly a distance away and fight um. And um, pick your targets more, and pick your ah have have better target focus. That's what I'm saying. Have better know who to go after, and know know who to go after the next time. Like go after the people who are easiest for you to kill. If it's easiest for you to kill, like say for instance, it'll be easier for you to kill uh, a Zenyatta than it is to kill a uh, McCree. Like it's easier I mean, for you to take um, and choose one of the two, and then go after one of them. If, you, if that made any sense. Go after the healer before you go after the DPS. And then when the healer's down, then you go after the DPS. Like, it's all about target focus. I mean, focus who's the easiest to kill. That's all, that's all I have to really say that. But otherwise, I actually like your gameplay, man. I appreciate you sending me your gameplay as well. And I had a, um, a joy actually recording, I actually bought reviewing your gameplay. And I really do appreciate you sending it. Anyone who else would like to send me your gameplay, just send it to my email in the description. I am now able to do bot reviews again, and I'm happy to say that I'm able to do them again. And just to, and just for you guys, I'll be doing bot reviews every Friday. That would be my that would be my day for bot reviews. So um, on Friday, instead of getting like regular videos, I'll be doing a bot review. I'll be recording it, and then I'll be posting it the same day, probably um, somewhere during the morning if you're in a. So if you're looking for the bot reviews, if you want a bot review, if you want me to bot review bot review someone, like I said before, send it to my email, and I'll get to it as fast as I can. I can't promise to get to every single one. It um, I say it's like first come first serve, but I just pick a random video from. I am from my emails and I just um, go along with that one depending on like what's the map or what's the SR or anything like that. But I will vault review no matter what rank you are. You can be in GM. You can be better than me. I don't care. I will, I will vault review yours. Like if you're better than me, that's like a bonus. I'll get, like, if you're like 4100 and 4300, I'll vault review yours, man. And I'll give you all the props, man. If you're better than me. I don't I don't really care if you are or not. But if you're better than me, I love it. If you're not, I love it too. But Thank you all for joining, man. I really do appreciate it. I really do um, love doing these videos, and I will talk to you all later. Thank you.